Kuku. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. I'm like, let's let's do the technical stuff and then we start. Okay, cool. Wait. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the mini Zoom series, Confessions of a Facilitator, with facilitators and their favorite tools. And today, wow. as of wonder, I have with me Luciana Noronha Pereira. I hope I see <laughs> Yeah, certified facilitator great. from from brazil luciana before i allow you to speak because i'm the you know the controlling bitch over here <laughs> <laughs> we both are oh yeah how did you get so lucky so yeah. there are two two wait not double but two rules one we have fun and the second one, okay. when rule number one fails to apply, we apply rule number two, which is apply rule number one. Okay. <laughs> You're so, fucking awesome. You know it. <laughs> I know. I know. I mean, I'm complicating things, like to the extent of... So, Lucy, Yeah, you don't like it so easy, yeah? No, I don't like we it. We don't. We but don't. We, what? What is it with us that we always want to make things hard? We only need one thing hard in life, and that's not what we are thinking about. <clears throat> uh <-huh. laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so, Lucy, two yeah. questions for you. Who mm. are you, and what's mm. your favorite tool? Two difficult questions to answer. Well, um, who I am? Maybe I can say you that I born in Brazil, but who I am now, it's like a bit of challenge to say it. Uh, a mutation? Walking, talking mutation, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> so what? Are you growing wings? Are you growing yeah. feathers or clothes or something like that? Sometimes more like a dragon. Sometimes more like a chihuahua, as Dan said, and <laughs> sometimes more like, yeah, with wings. And what else is possible? Yeah. <laughs> what else is possible? Yeah. What if we could be everything we would ever dream yeah. of being with Totalese, right? Yeah, you know that maybe I told you this sometime before, but um, the first foundation class I took. Uh, with Deborah Azevedo was so uncomfortable with this stuff, like perceiving that I'm not anything of that, you know? <laughs> and at that point was like, holy shit, what I am? Yeah. If I'm not this and this and that, and it's all about, however, who I am. And after the CF class in Rome this year, it got a little bit lighter, like, okay, who I am, if I'm not all of this? And just that blowing in my mind, like, you are space. Wow. Got my, like, got me tears, you know, like, yeah, it's like the first time when perceiving that I'm, I don't know, who I am was very joyful, like, woohoo, I don't know. Can you understand me? My I can. Crazy in English? I can. And okay, 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 stop there, stop there. You're crazy yeah. English. Let me share something with the people. What? I met you last year, beginning ah. of September. Okay, we were both of us, we were in Houston and we were taking Dane Hears uh, class, Energetic Synthesis of Being, if I recollect it well, right? Ah. Oh, my dog starts to bark, Energetic Synthesis okay. of Being. Okay, cool. Now, what I would like ah. you to imagine is this <laughs> sweet Luciana being totally invisible for... <laughs> for the room because she was not speaking english because she needed translation 
So one year forward down the line, there she is in a Zoom in English. Oh my gosh. And I would just... You should, like, not, you should not tell me that. Probably what? I won't be able to speak anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like you to... remember me. I would like I would like you to acknowledge you because I'm already acknowledging the phenomenal the phenomenal absolutely exquisite facilitator who's not only telling others to choose but you're choosing every fucking freaking day and if there's no other visible sign then there's this audible sign that you are in this zoom speaking english absolutely yeah. no issue over there so yeah. thank you for this thank, thank you for you. being this inspiration <laughs> i talk about you with a lot of people a lot of people who say i can't speak english i can't speak languages and then i say i'll show you and then there is truth you, you can't truth yeah truth yeah. are you really having issues with english yeah. i'm learning a lot but yeah, it's so much more easier now, easier now. Yeah. I, I know that I would like to be better on that, but it's coming. I'm, I'm doing my best. And you're doing that. more than your best. You're already that. <laughs> so yeah, I know you love me. <clears throat> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm missing you actually. <laughs> we have so a lot of fun together. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That that we can. That's our tool together. We have fun. But mm -hmm. if you were to uh -huh. pick, if you were to pick your favorite tool, mm -hmm. what would that this. be? You know that um, when you invited me to this Zoom, I start to think about it's like each day, each moment there are some tools that mm, maybe more that I like more but if I'm if I recover some stuff from access when I really got like whoa this is about being it's when we talking about communion and talking about communion it's like talk about so many other tools too Wow. So, 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 so wait, wait, what is communion? Uh, and, and wait, wait, first, for those of you who don't know what access consciousness is, I will give you my side of it is this huge toolbox with, with wacky, weird tools that you take out and then you, you change your life like by magic everywhere where you choose to. So this is, this is our favorite playground and one of the tools there is communion. Now, what is communion to you, Lucy? Because I know this is one of your favorite all times. I've, I've, my, my what is, it? is not so good. Sorry. No worries. I lost a part of this. Okay. So I will just ask you again, because I know this is your favorite tool, your favorite mm -hmm. topic. What is communion for you? Um, for me, communion is like a, a space where you are in oneness with everything, everyone. So it's a place where um, there is no separation, you know. Um, it's in that space where, where I'm feeling like I'm being totally, totally full of me, full of anything, everything, you know? <laughs> and oh, how can I say this? And there is no place to, for judgment. There is no place for anti-consciousness. Anti can I say this? Yeah, See? yeah. And, and then, then okay what about all the because when you say communion and then you're totally you and you're more of you than you've ever been in any other space 
what about the nasty stuff about ourselves that we don't want to look at and then we make ourselves so wrong about mm -hmm. if there is no judgment and if there is no anti-consciousness what happens actually for me it's like in that moment maybe that that stuff really doesn't exist or maybe there is they they are there but it's it doesn't matter you know it's like it's like you know when they talk about convert convergence yeah it's like when both all of we are are one only thing that, what, what? what we call the negative and the positive and the light and the shadow and doesn't all matter this yeah you just are what you are you just be and for me it, it was like a great um experience and like fucking awesome experience actually and when we had that esc in sao paulo you have been there too and in that moment communion was so present for me it's like my body is here and planet with my body and Aww. it doesn't matter anything else and it doesn't matter if it's just in that moment because i can choose it again it's like oh oh you said something beautiful i can choose it again yeah uh, it's something you are and, and, it's but something we, you are and you can choose it again and again and again so and sometimes so, we just just do not recognize it oh that's a meme we don't <laughs> recognize who we are so are you telling me that we are walking talking communion is just that we don't have the eyes for it we don't mm -hmm. see it and we don't recognize it yet for me yeah when you, we in we are in allowance of that we just are that you know when i have been watching some of your interviews and most of them are in your room i think maybe yeah. room, probably and it's in and my now, it's most of them are in uh, yeah 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 i know i know i know i know this is uh most of them are in my in my in my office and the thing is they predicted a very bad forecast for today so bad that i've already had my bars run on my terrace naked this is not i'm not supposed to say that in the recording but it was so beautiful and so sunny and so gorgeous and i was like i want to be outside with you and then okay you, and then you <laughs> talk to me about communion yeah and you know that it it have come through my mind but i really was not sure if i would talk about it because it's like what what else is possible like in the moment when you were asking this question what would show up and okay i i, th I thought about a lot of stuff and i choose to not not think anymore just not. wait to ask and perceive what comes up wow so what would be the message don't think just be communion <laughs> Communion. But Lucy, for those for those of us who I mean it's not my case, but okay, for those of us who are watching and mm -hmm. would like to have more communion or are in the um, in the process of discovering what communion is, or maybe they mm -hmm. haven't even, you know, thought of that of communion. What could you how where where did you start? How how did you start? How did you start to recognize? You said ESC. ESC, that's, that's a very special, intense, energetic space. Um, 
which which is which is led by Dr. Dane here. It's his specialty, like a treat for every living body and being on this earth. And I will invite you to 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 search him and the ESCs. There are a lot of them available for, for purchase. And we, we, let's say we were the fortunate ones that chose some classes and got acquainted to that. For those who start just discovering communion, how did you start? Where did you start? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Um, there are a lot of tools behind it. Yeah, actually. Uh, so I have to mention a lot of others. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I said only one. <laughs> yeah. But how can we talk about communion without lower our barriers? You have to drop oh. your walls. Okay. What are those? What are those walls? I want to know. Tell me. Uh, for me, in, uh, I use it to put a lot of walls to protect myself against judgment, people. You know, maybe you are in nature and you are worried about the, the beast. The Let the, my beast love uh, barking at the door. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And how can you receive from nature if you are totally worried or contracted about something that can happen? And I'm talking about nature that it's so easy to be in communion, so much more easier, I think, at least for me. The, the stuff begins to get like a game, a challenge, when I'm looking to myself and looking to all of this stuff that we are taught to look as shadows and lights and something you have to solve or to, to fix and yeah. forget about it and don't look at it because it's ugly, because it's bad. And you have to do everything to just diminish it and correct it and repair it as if you were some kind of a machine that need, needs fixing. Yeah. But why, why is it so easy, Lucy, to, to... What makes it so easy to be in nature and be, be in communion with nature, like, naturally? Uh, remember the first time I read the the new book when then said something about nature that doesn't judge you so it's oh. lighter it's easier and there is no thoughts feelings and emotions there and what if we are more like a huge um, mechanism that can perceive everything so when you are there in your garden, see um, what beautiful place. Yeah, that's my There's fairy garden. Me. Yeah, I see, I'm seeing this. And there it's like some, for me, it's like a really peaceful, joyful, living, I don't know, the life, the, oh my gosh. The life is there. Yeah. Life. It's it's a it's a it's a living, breathing organism in itself. My garden is like it has this energy to it, but not only my garden. But it's true that I had so many judgment about my garden Why? until until last year. I was like, this is not the perfect garden. This is, mm -hmm. it has bushes and it, the, you know, my thing go grow here like wildly and it's not nice and I should be moaning my loan every two days and I should be like this and it should be like that. And I, 
I was so full of judgment and of expectations and, uh, on how should my garden look like that yeah. I was not even, I was not even on the terrace. And enjoying it's actually it. Enjoying it. And it started with, I would like to enjoy the rays of sun in the morning. And this is how I started drinking coffee. And then again, drinking my coffee on the terrace I mean I'm drinking coffee like crazy but that's a different yeah. topic so <laughs> I remember one of the one of uh, another facilitator in Belgium here who asked me I went to her garden and I looked at her garden and I was so full of joy and full of every time I stepped out and then I said, whoa, you have such a nice garden you know like fairy like flowers here plants there and she looked at me and said, what would it take for you to have the same, the same, to feel the same about your garden? And I remember the first time I came on my terrace, mm -hmm. it was looking like crap. I mean, like, like if you're a gardener, please don't look at this recording. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, okay, <laughs> um, what would it take for us to to like each other you know like i simply asked what would it take for us to like each other and every time i would come out i would be looking for something that i actually like about my garden and it wasn't all of a sudden like it happened no i'm still sometimes angry but mm. when i come on my garden in my garden on my terrace it's like you see like if it's almost um, like we are trying to put in the nature our own own expectations about ourselves that everything you're trying to fix about you when you are trying to fix about your garden you know and yeah. um, I was born in North North Brazil like in, in Amazon. Now I'm living in South Brazil. And it's so funny because it's so different. At the same point that there are some amazing stuff in both of place, but people are so different, you know. And in North Brazil, um, we had a lot of uh, Indians. Na native, natives. native people, yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's like, a different energy about nature nature can be more free for anything like um, have some part of the trees and or flowers in the ground it's not dirty it's nature it's part of yeah. nature and here in the south it's like the, the garden had to be perfect cooted yeah and yeah trim and, and yeah, yeah. I don't know That's, the exact words in English to put it, but you have to organize it and make it perfect oh. as nature would not be perfect as Shit. the way it, it is, you know. This, this, so. is, this is so beautiful when you say it like this, because I recognize this in me like one year ago. If it wasn't perfect and if it wasn't organized and trimmed and you know the most beautiful flowers and possibly the flowers that would match my dress or something like that <laughs> i wasn't happy and now yeah. i don't have flowers i mean i re my garden is wild and i love it when you said that we take the projections we have on ourselves and we just throw them on the garden what, what do would you do take? if we don't have to be perfect all the time or we can flower have flowers or don't have flowers sometimes have fruits the flowers have to come and go to have fruits for example yeah when i arrived from buenos aires i i look at to my i have a i live in an apartment so i don't have a garden as yours but i have some some plants inside. You have an orchid, I see it. Yeah. And it's like this when I arrive. Yeah, you are waiting for me. Thank you. <laughs> like this. Yeah. 
And outside, I have um, a tree uh, which can give fruits. I don't have, I don't know how to say this in English. In Portuguese, is a jabuticabeira, jabuticapas. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely okay. that. Ex that. <laughs> Absolutely, and, that. <laughs> and when I arrived, I noticed that there were some little uh, fruits for the first time. They are coming. Wow. And it was like so, like, I, I, I was thought, I was thinking that it would be not it will die, you know, it's not so beautiful. And when I arrive at their fruits, wow. so how much more judgment we are using against us, against nature, against others, against our bodies that doesn't allow us to be in communion with them. And everything yeah, that would you would you would you destroy and uncreate that, please? And please. you know, just go with the pork pod on it. Wow! Yeah. And and what would it take for us to be willing to discover what communion is for each and every one of us? Yeah, because it and probably it's different for each each one. And I have this. You know, we started the conversation with you speaking English and asking you to be willing to acknowledge the steps, yeah. the huge steps, the leap. What if we would be willing to acknowledge that we are communion mm -hmm. already exactly. and we're just expecting it to be to show up in a certain way so that we know and we put a name on it and we say, now, honey bunny. That's <laughs> this is communion. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm in communion. Not yesterday. Not tomorrow. No. Just now. And then, now I'm in communion. And then, now what? <laughs> so. Be it. Yeah. Be it. Be it. Oh, Lucy, thank you for this. And thank, thank you, for, you for having pulled in my garden to have this conversation. It wasn't <laughs> planned. It's about to rain now. Yeah. So we changed the weather forecast. But again... What can you then, receive from the rain too? Yeah. I mean, my garden loves the rain. Why wouldn't I? Well, because I'm in Belgium and so, so many expectations and projections and rejections <laughs> on rain. And they're not even mine. <laughs> Yeah, different topic, different stuff. topic, different yeah. <laughs> topic. Or not. Maybe or it's not. everything because communion, you know. Yeah, communion is receiving as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm willing to receive my, my raindrops. It's funny, actually. I haven't had an interview in the rain. So what would it take? <laughs> <laughs> So, Lucy, if people want to meet you and if people want to find you and if they want to stalk you, where do they find you? Uh, to stalk me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Facebook is a good, a good channel and Instagram too. I'm putting um, maybe more. It's like Facebook replying my Instagram stuff, you know. Um, I'm too... I'm also using to to do some meetings on Zoom weekly. Okay. You are coming. I'm mm -hmm. coming. I'm coming soon, soon, soon. And it's going to be available. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So it's for free. And the stuff is that it's in Portuguese most of the time. Um, and when it isn't, we have a translation. So we have it in Portuguese and English. Actually, this next week we will be in Portuguese and English. So wow! We can you can find me through uh, Facebook or Instagram, Luciana Noronha. Do you have also a page on the Access website? Not yet. I'm not yet. Okay, so you're it. on. Yeah. Okay, you're playing at it. Cool. Well, Lucy, until. In a few days, in a Zoom. Thank you so, 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 so much for Thank bringing you. this energy into Thank this you. interview.
thank you, thank you, thank you. And how does it get any better than that? Yeah, how did I get so lucky? How did we get both so lucky? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, to all of you watching, kisses from the fairy garden. And thank you, fairy see you. garden. I love it. <laughs> see you. See you when we see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.